Sean is outside working and the kids are all out there with him or painting or whatever. They're, everybody's outside. Anyways, and I'm in the house because I get to cook. So it gets me out of work to cook and that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's really hot outside today. Um, but I'm going to make some goulash. I don't know why. I don't know. But I've really been craving like just good old comfort food. Things that I would have hated as a kid but just here lately. The last few days anyway, it's not like a long term thing, but it's just really been on my mind. And the main thing today has been macaronis and tomato juice. I never really liked it much, but for some reason I can't quit thinking about it today. But I don't think that I would enjoy it as much as my mind thinks I would enjoy it. However, when I was sitting in there, I thought, why not make some goulash? It's pretty much pasta. I mean, it's pretty much macaroni and tomato juice. Just got hamburger in it, so and I'm gonna throw in some Rotel as well. So we're gonna do that. Um, I did go find a recipe, but I'm not gonna follow it because that's just not the person I am. I never follow directions and instructions. I just almost physically can't do it. There's just something broken in me. Um, but nonetheless, we are gonna make some goulash here. I'll link the recipe down below that I read through and that's where, oh, hello Clovis. I'm gonna get these onions sauteed a little bit, even though I hadn't even turned it on yet. I'm going to saute these onions up. I'm going to have about a little bit of round a pound. Did that even make sense? We don't care. I've got a round a pound of ground beef that we're going to add to this once they get browned up just a tin, tiny bit. I think I'm going to add a little bit of butter. It's about a tablespoon and a half of butter. And the ground beef I have is 96%, I think, pretty sure. So it won't have any fat that needs to be drained off of it can we use you we sure can um, so we're gonna get these just sauteed up here a little bit tender and then we'll add in the pasta i mean ground beef okay so i got the onions sauteed in here I, and Completely out of tea. I just had took John the last bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more. The tea that we've been using lately is this Louisiana. Is that how you say that? Anyways, I bought that just buying tea, seen it, and I think it's Fallon that that's their favorite. Or it might be Sammy. I don't know. One of the people I watch quite often, I know Fallon buys it. Um, but they said that it is the absolute best. It's their favorite. I seen it and I thought we're gonna give that a try. Um I didn't say nothing to John, you know, he wouldn't even remember if I did, but I didn't say nothing to John about why I bought it or anything. And the first time he tried it, he said, that might be the best tea that I'd ever made. So maybe we'll stick with it. Or maybe next time I'll grab something else and forget about it and never come back to it because that's the kind of person I tend to be, it seems like when it comes to things. But it's really good. Well, he says it is. I don't like sweet tea. I can handle green tea sometimes, like in the cans. Lipton's or whatever. Um, when I was you trying to lose weight many, many years ago, I used to drink it pretty frequently, and it actually seemed like it did help. Could have just been a mind thing. But, um, yeah, I don't drink it unless I think I'm getting something out of it. So. ready to eat yet like I was hungry and then I drank a whole bunch of juice no I drank a whole bunch of water I did drink some V8 juice because me and John used to drink it all the time and it's been forever since we bought it well, it's been forever since I drank it even the last few times that we bought it um I didn't really drink it like I just took a few sips of it here and there however um I wasn't feeling good one morning and I drank a cup of that because I felt hungry, but nothing, I couldn't tolerate food. Anyways, it was really good. And so I think that's what's got me wanting the macaroni and tomato juice, is that juice. Um, so we're just gonna modify it. Anyways, I drank a cup of that and drank a whole bunch of water because I was thirsty and I hadn't drunk any today. Well, I hadn't drank much today. So I'm not really hungry now. John's out there working. Um, we are building in the kids a swing set, just a swing, not a swing set because they have been interested in stuff like that lately. We've been going to the park every once in a while 
and they really enjoy the swings and you know it don't matter if our almost 15 year old and 13 and 11 year old almost 11 yeah um if they want a swing set we're gonna get them one and they're they're you know they're adult size so we're just gonna build one in that's adult size and john's working on that because that's just the kids asked for it and you know especially things like that that's not super expensive and whatever if he can do it he's going to get it done pretty quickly so especially it's just like prime weather to be doing stuff outside it's a perfect time for them to ask for something like that because well he can do it so we're getting stuff ready for that i still have to order the swing seats and all of that but um and we have to go buy some more stuff to build it but it's going to be a pretty simple a pretty simple build all right so this is a little bit juicier than i would like it to be and i don't feel like draining it so we're gonna do mama mel's little trick here that we've seen on her channel where you just put a paper towel in am i doing this right probably not but i will you know we're getting out some of the juice and that's what we want to do so Good enough. Garlic powder here. And a little bit of the beef bouillon base. Now I'm just gonna bowl the noodles in this, almost like a one pot spaghetti deal. That way, it's only one pot. I'm not sure how many noodles I'm going to need. I think me, John, and Nolan will eat this. The girls. Wendy, possibly. Lily, definitely not. So. I don't want to overdo it because I hate wasting it. that off. Nope, wrong one. Put that back off. And then I'm gonna I'm I'm not sure about the rotel. I don't like the spiciness that it brings. Even though it's a small amount of rotel, the one little can, it still has a lot of spice to me. So I think we're gonna skip out on that. I need you to just make sure I always stick with buying diced tomatoes, even if a recipe calls for a rotel because your girl don't like it. Hamburger's done, so I don't know why I'm afraid of it. No, it definitely needs something. Pinch of sugar. I think we need a pinch of sugar. I'm going to look at the recipe and see what all it added. So, I added pretty much what it called for. I'm going to add a little bit more garlic. Except for, I think it said Italian seasoning, which I didn't add. And, you know, it called for, did it call for diced tomatoes? I don't know, but I'm not going to use this because I'm afraid it's going to make it too spicy. And I can deal with a little bit of spice, but no one doesn't like spice. And if there's any chance of him eating this, it can't have spice in it. So, we're just going to leave this as good enough, I think. Oh, I forgot to add the sugar, though. No. Need some sugar. I am going to add a pinch of sugar, but I'm also going to add a pinch of baking soda. Whenever I made canned spaghetti sauce i googled and it said that um baking soda can take the bitiness the bitterness out of tomato products and i've been doing this since and it really seems like it helps just a tiny bit and you mix it up and it like does a little bit of sciencey stuff the more you add the, the more of that you get but it also takes away a lot of the acidic i guess um so, I don't want to take away all of it because I do want it to be tomato-y. But I don't want it to be as bitter to where I need to add a whole bunch of sugar. See, already better. Just make sure you just add a pinch or so. I think I want to add about a teaspoon of sugar. Now, I like sweet dishes like this, but John's not the biggest fan, so. 
just a little bit there. I think it does need more salt. This doesn't come out as well as I would wish for. I'd rather underdo it than overdo it. All right, I think we're just going to leave well enough alone, bring it to a bowl, and then we'll see how it goes from there. minutes and all the good stuff here I don't want to waste it so I also don't want to touch this pan because it's probably gonna be hot be really good with like some cream cheese too make it like a strawberry cheesecake if it's good we might do that i don't see how it could be bad honestly but sometimes things that you think are definitely gonna be good don't come out exactly like you think they should so. i don't see how it could be bad honestly but you never know i guess so mixture here. Just crumble it on top. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on Everyone needs a helping hand Everyone needs someone to rely on Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one We lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith He is the change within us There is a light Let Him lead the way Lift our hands up and pray Today y'all as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed bye friends mm -hmm.